Hello everybody, second video in this series, but of course I do it day by day. Yesterday we looked at the Dutch away jersey from 2012, where I already mentioned that they were beaten by Portugal in the last game, a game they had to win to ensure safe passage in the second round. I think they even had to win by maybe two goals or something like that. And now we're looking at the shirt of the opponent in the last game, which is exactly the shirt that was worn, it was the Portugal shirt. <laughs> Coincidentally, I'm also wearing Portugal. Uh, which is also a Nike shirt, pretty much the same. Let's pull those together. The surprising thing is that, you know, they played like this. Portugal in red, the Netherlands in black. I thought that Portugal will have to play in their great white jerseys at the time. But yeah, it still kind of worked, but it was one of those where both are very, very, very dark. Let's look at the Portugal one. Uh, this one is actually the last one of the Euro 2012 jerseys that I got. And when did I get it? I got it uh, in 2016. I always wanted to have a Portugal shirt for a long time. I remember in 2008 I almost was about to pull the trigger on one, um, but didn't. And I remember the one in 2006 I never liked, although I wanted to get a Portugal jersey, but I never really liked that one. And then yeah, the other 2004, uh, back then you couldn't get jerseys just like that. 2016 Portugal became European champions and I said to my wife, I don't have a Portugal jersey. And she said, you need to get one. Went to Classic for Soccer Shirts, had her help me pick Portugal jerseys. In the end it was between the one for uh, 2004 and this one, as far as I remember. I, in a way I wanted to have more the 2004 one, but were about the same price. But in the end, my wife said, you know, get the more recent version. Um, she doesn't like me to get very old soccer shirts uh, because she thinks the material, and maybe she's right, you know, women know in certain ways more than men. Uh, and said, yeah, get, get this one. She didn't like how the color looked, but overall, I think I showed her, I have the 2004 Dutch home jersey, I have the 2012 Dutch away jersey, which are basically the two templates. And she said, I think this one is nicer. And I have to agree, as a Portugal jersey, this is pretty darn perfect. Um, I agree that I like the away jersey better. It's bolder with the white and the cross, but I wanted to get a home jersey. Little did I know that I will have a year later this one. That's a different story. But it is nice and red. It has the green color, which I would expect. Maybe the one thing is I would have maybe expected here also green sleeve cuffs, but instead they have this double striping and there's the cross on there very subtly, but it is there. So um, looks nice. The material is the same as for the Dutch jersey from yesterday. Uh, I like the white swoosh, they had the white number. So actually that also makes sense because here you have the white. The only thing that I always find odd with Portugal shirts is that the crest here, which is a little bit smaller here than in 2016, if you see the size, size-wise, that this one is a little bit bigger. It's not very easy to see, but what I wanted to say is that the color of the cross here, that's the board of the cross, is actually kind of a beige, goldenish color, which I always found a little bit weird. Shouldn't it be green? I guess it makes sense and I actually really like this uh, logo. It's very distinct and gives Portugal its own identity. But yeah, I always wondered um, about the coloring. I think since this is also the Federation logo, I mean here it says FPF up there. So I always wondered. Um, this shield with those, this is probably from the Portuguese core, coat of arms. It's a very interesting, I actually, I want to know more about the backstory, why, why they chose. Of course, the cross is the, for the seafaring nation that Portugal was, which is also the reference of this cross here. So all the ships back then. Other than that, not much more to it. We have again the authentic tag. It's dry fit, it's the same material. This time the, sleeve, the pattern on the sleeve, there's nothing inside, it's red inside. It's just this green pattern outside. But I think for a Portugal jersey, very classic look. I gotta give this was the time when Nike really made classic looking jerseys. 
Some might say boring. I actually like this look. I think in 1966 they were wearing a very similar shirt, at least in style, to this one. So for me this was an immediate winner and I think this is one of the best Portugal jerseys of recent memory. And so I'm happy to have that one. Let me know what you think about this jersey. Any memories attached to that one? Give me a thumbs up if you liked that video. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I will talk to you soon with another video tomorrow that I'm going to shoot next. Bye! If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.